Hello everyone, welcome to Jumper Man Tech and today I'm going to show you how to jump start your motherboard because ATX switches, <laughs> who needs them? Before attempting to jump start your motherboard, it's always best to get an understanding of what exactly is happening. So on the left, we have a typical ATX switch typically used for power and reset in computer systems. This is a two wire system, two terminal or two pin. Uh, on the right is a multimeter. And I'm gonna demonstrate and give you guys a further understanding of how this switch actually works. Okay, we're gonna start by setting our meter to continuity, which is specifically this symbol right here. Zoom out, and once our, our meters are set to continuity, we're going to take our two leads and we're going to short them out by touching them. Once we shorted it out and we hear that noise, we know we have continuity and this meter works. So next, we're going to take our ATX switch, and it's hard to see, but there are two terminals right here. This is a two-wire system. And let's see, this is a two wire system. So let's, I'm gonna put our meter, one on each wire right there. So as we can see, the terminals are normally open. And when we press down the switch, we hear that noise and we have continuity. And as soon as we release, it's back to normally open. So the way the switch works is it's a normally open contact and when we press down, we close the circuit, but as soon as we release, it goes back to normally open. So here's a diagram for the system panel header, which is a nine pin panel located on the motherboard. And this is where your ATX gets, ATX switches get connected. So these two terminals, Reset and ground are the two terminals where the ATX switch would get connected if you would use it for a reset. Above here, these two terminals, labeled as PWRBTN and ground, power button and ground, uh, would be the two terminals used for power. So to give you guys a demonstration here of what we're going to do physically to jumpstart this motherboard, basically we're going to take any type of conductor, a, a wire, even a screwdriver um, to touch these two terminals right here, power button and ground. You could even use this right here. So you would touch it for a split second and let go. And it's as simple as that to jumpstart your motherboard. Okay, so here we are at the system panel header on the motherboard. Just locate it right here. You can even see it says right there, PWRBTN and reset. So we're gonna go according to our diagram and I'm gonna use a screwdriver to touch those two terminals that I know are for power and ground together for a split second and see if my PC starts. It's a delicate situation, just be careful. There's the graphic card, power supply. Come on, give me a screen. There we go. That is how you jumpstart a motherboard. If anybody found this video helpful, please drop a like comment and subscribe really helps the channel grow I'll catch you guys next time